What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I uh, revamped Miss Piggy. So if you're new here, uh, you haven't seen this truck before. Um, if you have been here, you don't recognize this truck. Um, this truck is Miss Piggy. Been on my channel plenty of times. This is, I guess, the third variant of her. Basically, this the whole theme of this truck was budget truck. So um, now that I have a bunch of other trucks, um, I kind of wanted to still stick with that theme. So I kind of just updated the, the budget. So I went with new axles. They're basically Curry reps. They're Amazons, um, canted diffs, new bumpers. Um, I got some different tires. These tires did leave a lot to be desired though. I'll be honest with you. You'll see that here in a second. Um, out on the rocks, uh, I could see them being good for a really, really heavy truck. Um, but I put them on my Gen 9, which is like 8 pounds, and it's still, I don't know, it wasn't, they weren't that good. On something that's maybe like 10 pounds plus, I think these tires would be pretty good. Um, they do have the Enjora uh, rubber inserts, the blues, the mediums. Um, and then a creep body and then I put some um, scale stuff on the body so um, I don't want to talk too long so just going to do a quick overview of what I did to it and then right to the rocks. Thank you. 
So that's all for this time guys it was kind of just a quick um update test crawl i guess all it was you know um i really like the way it looks i mean i think it looks a plus 10 out of 10 it looks great especially with the modular bumpers and stuff with the can of diffs i mean this thing looks super sick um a little bit to be desired as far as crawling goes um i think honestly it's just the tires that are hanging it back um, another thing I want to do, those are only 70 mil shocks in the front. I, I'm not sure if I want to get taller ones or just bump those down in the, um, sockets there. But the only challenge I'm facing is if I make the shocks longer, then I'll have to space out the front axle away from the skid, um, because of the drive shaft angle. So those U-joints, if I make the shocks taller and bring this U-joint uh, closer towards us here our perspective that's just going to make these angles even worse um i mean it's just at that point right now that's why i put 70 mils on with 90s on it uh you could hear that chatter a little and you can still hear it now a little bit but um it would actually affect the wheel speed so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put like 80s on it and then switch to a brushless like uh something with an foc I've been looking at the the benefits of something like a Fusion Pro, like I have in this one, is it has an internal BEC, an internal ESC, and it's a brushless motor, and it's one package. Um, so that takes up way less landscape underneath the body, um, as far as mounting stuff goes. Um, so both the Fusion and the Fury Tech Komodo both have FOC. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting at is... If you're going to have a high angle on a short drive shaft like this to try and keep the skid forward biased, um, you're going to need something with FOC to counter that that pinion angle shutter, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to switch over to maybe Proline Trenchers. Every time I see those out and about in my area where I end up crawling, um, they just kill it every single time. Those in high raxes, but I've seen 
Duratrax is be very good. Uh, for example, these are Duratrax Ascends on my class one. These are 4.19s. These do great around here um, for whatever reason. I mean, they're a really good design. I mean, it's a pretty common design if you, you know, think about it in general. I mean, the very fine details, maybe not, but in general, if you see it, you know, if you like 20, 20 vision, 20 yards away at 20 miles an hour, they all kind of look similar, you know, the class one style off-roader. Um, and then these are Duratrax fossils right here. These do really good as well out here. Um, they're still kind of new. I'm, I think I'm going to wash them down with um, Simple Green, loosen them up, get them a little bit softer, and go back out again. Uh, they did really, really good, but um, I want to I wanna see what they're like when they're broken in. This is like their second outing. So. so thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I got more stuff coming with the 8x8. I did get an RDS kit, but I'm going to kind of swap everything out with Yakoma stuff. I just kind of got this on sale as a baseline starter chassis and motor mount and stuff like that so try and get this to 100 miles an hour on grass um, so that's going to be fun so i got to get a gps and stuff too so and then this i'm going to strip all this off of this red all the red cat stuff off i'm going to fill it with arma stuff and i'm going to put smaller tires on i'm going to try and hit this i want this to be my first 150 mile an hour rc but it's pretty much just going to be the chassis here out of everything that you see here all this is going to pretty much be gone. So, um, so yeah, so stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.